In the United States, we have this essentially an epidemic of traffic fatalities going on. We're one of the 10 worst countries in the world. It's at a generational high level. There's nearly 300,000 collisions a year involving things on the road that are already trying to get the attention of drivers with lights, sirens, cones. But unfortunately, the problem continues to get worse because drivers are more distracted. There's a lot of issues that contribute to this. NHTSA has estimated that up to 80% of non-impaired crashes could be avoided or mitigated with VTX technologies. That is the purpose of digital alerting. It is providing in-vehicle notifications to drivers to warn them that, hey, there's a work zone ahead, there's a tow truck ahead, there's a first responder ahead. And if you give drivers advance warning of this, they're much less likely to have some sort of unsafe navigation or a collision around them. America is the hub of innovation, but on this issue, if we don't start moving quickly, our global competitors are gonna be setting the market conditions for us. The companies involved in this are global automakers and such, and they don't want to be designing to two different systems. So we need to be moving, and we need to move now. Get ready for green. I'm Brian Mulligan. I'm the CEO of Applied Information. It's the technology provider for what you're going to see today. Caution, work zone. We've got a great panel of folks who are deeply involved in this business of trying to change the world, which is the business of connecting vehicles to each other and to the infrastructure by having what's called virtual detection, which is the vehicles informing the traffic intersections as to their status and their speed and their heading that they're approaching from. I've been working on this connected vehicle since 2018. It's all about time. What if I can give driver more time to make a decision? Can I do that? And will the driver make a better decision? pedestrian ahead. That's why I'm looking for this new CV technology. We can use for school zone, work zone, pedestrian, and emergency vehicle. Same technology, just different application. Years past, there's been a question about where are the cars? The automakers look and they say, where's the infrastructure? The bottom line is, is that we've got to solve this and the time is now. And that's why we at Audi really wanted to put much more of the, the emphasis on the near-term quick wins that could be had with multiple road users. So we're already building this into our cars that are sold in China. We need absolute clarity from the FCC, and John and I and Laura are working on this relentlessly. And I think it's just a matter of when, not if. This technology is going to be deployed. The car manufacturers are preparing for this technology, but what they really need to see is they need to understand that if they put it in their cars, that the cars can talk to something. And that's where the IOOs come in. The more of this technology we can get in the infrastructure today, the sooner we're going to be able to get commitments from the automakers. In the Houston area alone, there's uh, roughly probably 3,500 to 4,000 devices that are deployed right now. In the whole of Texas, there's, there's roughly 10,000. Those numbers are a little bit staggering when you hear them because uh, people don't think that we're that far down the road. The truth is we are. Work zone. I don't believe, short of autonomous vehicles, that there is a better safety technology that will provide a decrease in fatalities and in accidents more so than connected vehicles. There's not either this or this, there's this and that. There's not one right way of doing this. It's an ecosystem. This is not some dream for the future. This is all available today. This equipment is ready now. We are driving in the intersections and this equipment is working. This is something we only thought about years ago. To actually be driving in a vehicle and seeing it work is fantastic. I've never been in a Tesla before, so that was really nice. Speeding in school zone. The Travel Safely app, it was giving audible instructions instead of having to look to the side. I don't have a connected car yet, but with the app, I think that it's a great way to get that information. There's some intersections near my area that have it, so I'll be testing it out and see how I like it. Oh, it was fantastic. So I rode in the Audi e-tron. We went through a school zone 
and it showed us in real time, hey, you're in a, a school zone. So to have that icon and notification pop up, it was really helpful of, okay, this is something I cannot be aware of that wasn't immediately obvious in my surroundings. We ended up getting into the Dodge Ram. It was good to see the actual pop-ups on the dashboard. A work zone, we had a school zone that popped up, and we had like a pedestrian crossing. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm really impressed. You get to see how other agencies are working, how Texas is doing this. Once you get here, you get to know everybody. The event today was great. It was very informative. I think it's going to help out the industry. The work of connecting vehicles is really about breaking down silos. And those silos are not just data. It's people, it's communities. And so getting a lot of people in the ecosystem together in one place where they can collaborate and learn from each other is really the secret to accomplishing this at scale. Caution, work zone. If they've seen what I've seen today, I think they would be on board pretty quickly with just the amount of safety that it generates. It is important for private and public sector to work together with the goal to improve safety, improve mobility, and overall satisfaction of the traveling public. We gotta get to vision zero. I mean, nobody should die on the roadways of America. We are one of the most developed countries in the world. We should be leading the world with vision zero. And connected vehicles are definitely gonna get us much closer. For me, it was hugely successful today, seeing all these people, listening to the questions, listening to the answers. Looking at it, I'm thinking, how can we do a lot more of this because it's time to deploy. Get ready for green. Right here, this is where the war is being won. Texas truly is a leader. It's truly an innovator, and this is where we want to be to be able to define and view what the future will be. I just really cannot begin to share our level of excitement to be working alongside innovative minds. It's really been a blessing, and I hope that we're going to be considered pioneers one day deploying this, and I hope we're laying a blueprint for other agencies in other states to move forward with this technology.